Yo, what's going on, Pius Probogy here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ruby. In the last episode, we successfully challenged and defeated the champion of the Hoenn region, Steven. And in today's episode, as you can see, we are back in our hometown of Little Root with our awesome GameCube. It's Game Boy Advance connected to the servers of the controller. So yeah, we got a really cool GameCube in our room. Well, with that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and make our way into the downstairs and talk to our Norman dad over here. Hmm? Hey, it's Purple G. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get, but your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh yes, I have something for you. This came for you, someone named Mr. Brownie. And we've obtained the SS ticket, so that's pretty cool. Hmm, ticket for a fairy. If I recall, there are fairy ports in Sleepport and Lulico. Purple G, if you have the ambition as a, per as a trainer, go to the Battle Tower. To teach you that there is no end to a trainer's chosen path. Better get back to the Petalburg Gym. Mom, thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. So, yeah, apparently our dad calls his own wife mom. Um, that's a little interesting. But anyway, with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and take a little flight. So we're gonna go pretty much to where he told us to go. We're just gonna go ahead and go to Sleepport City because, you know, it's kinda the closest city near us. So let's go ahead and make our way over to the courtyard area over here. And take the ferry. So we can talk to this person right here. Hello, are you here for the ferry? May I see your ticket? We got the ticket, perfect, that's all you need, and where would you like to go? So we'll go to the Battle Tower. Battle Tower it is then, please board the ferry and wait for departure. So, we're going to be taking care of things in the post-game that you know obviously we couldn't do before becoming the champion. So here we are, inside the Battle Tower. So this is actually quite interesting, we'll go ahead and read the sign because no one reads these. Win it all and be the best trainers. Alright, thanks for that, thanks for those little words of encouragement, words of wisdom. Welcome to the Battle Tower. Please register with me and enter a battle room. So I'm not going to really be doing the Battle Tower because this is basically, you know, what you can do in the post-game. This is like your competitive, you know, kind of Pokemon area. This is where, you know, do battles and win, you know, basically whatever kind of those things. So, yeah, I'm not going to be showing that off because, you know, obviously we have to do a ton of battles in order to do stuff like that. But I'm not going to be showing that off. But we, what we are going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and fly away. We're gonna leave the battle tower and make our way over to. Uh, we're gonna make our way over to Mauville, I'm pretty sure. Although, hold on. I think Lava Ridge might be the best place. Yeah, we'll go into Lava Ridge. Make our way over to Lava Ridge Town. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a couple things before, you know, we actually go ahead and do things. So, actually, what I wanna do is hop on our bicycle because we haven't ridden our bicycle in a while. So, you know, it's time for a nice little bike trip. And we're going to go ahead and make our way in here, an area that we haven't previously been, and this is Route 111. And I'm hoping that I don't have to battle these trainers, so I'm going to try to avoid them as best as possible. And I'm going to try to make my way to a location that, you know, is going to be quite relevant once we actually make it over there. And I don't want to be battling these random Pokemon, like these little sand shoes. Alright, so we still have our Aggron in the front. This is actually really scary. Imagine being this little level 19 Sandshrew against this little like 54 Behemoth Agron. Like that would be really, that would be really, really scary. But we're gonna go ahead and use one of my, one of my repels. We only got two left, so we probably want to stock up um, more of these repels. And I'm gonna try to make on my way to the location that we need to be, which is right here. So as you can see, we found the root fossil. If this fossil is taken, the other will sink in the sand. Take the root fossil anyway. So that is the root fossil, and then this one is the claw fossil. So, let's see, which one do we want? I think we should go ahead and take the root fossil, because the majority of people take the claw fossil. So we're going to go ahead and take uh, the root fossil, and now the other one is going to unfortunately sink into the sand, and we're never going to get it again. So what I want to do is go ahead and make our way over to Rustboro City, and go ahead and do something quite quickly. So thanks for that, thanks for the little flight on Nimbus, and we're going to go ahead into this building right here, the Devon Corporation. We're going to arrive back here and we're going to talk to a uh, very specific person that's going to help us later on down the line, and you'll see why in a little bit. So if you talk to this guy, I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon fossils, and it's working. Wait, that thing you have there, is that a Pokemon fossil? Would you like to bring that Pokemon back to life? I can with my new newly developed fossil regenerator. Excellent, let's do this right away. So you can have the root fossil, and if we talk to him, the fossil generator, which I made, is incredible. It has one drawback. It takes a long time to work. So, yeah, we will go for a little stroll, and when I say go for a little stroll, I mean I'm literally just going to go to the Pokemon Center and come right back. So, we need to go ahead 
and deposit one of my Pokemon in the PC and, you know, actually pick up what we are going to go ahead and pick up, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, we are actually the official Pokemon Hoenn League champions. So, there is a lot of things to be doing in the post-game, so obviously, you know, this, uh, this Let's Play is not going to be ending anytime soon, because we do have, you know, quite a bit of, quite a bit of accomplishments, quite a bit of tasks, you know, so to speak, that we can do in the Hoenn region after we become the champions. So, you know, there still is a lot more... A lot more things to explore that I want to go ahead and show off. So we're going to go ahead and talk back to this guy again. Thanks for waiting. Your fossilized Pokemon has been brought back to life. Fossil was an ancient Pokemon. Lilip it was. And we received Lilip from the Devon Researcher. So thanks for that. Uh, no, we're not going to give it a nickname because I don't really have anything off the top of my head. So yay, now we got a Lilip. Now, th those are the two Pokemon. Those are the two fossil Pokemon for the Hoenn region. So... If you pick the claw fossil and you resurrect it, then you'll go ahead you'll go ahead and get an Anorith, which evolves into our Maldo, and if you get, you know, the root fossil like I did, you'll get a Lilip, which will eventually evolve into a Cradilly. So yeah, I'm not gonna be using any of the fossil Pokemon on my team because we already have our well established team, but you know we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this thing because it is pretty cool, you know, nice that they give us a little fossil Pokemon right here. So it is pretty cool, I want to go ahead and show off the fossil Pokemon. Now, before I go ahead and do anything more, we're going to go ahead and fly to another location. So we're going to go ahead and hop on my Nimbus, and take us back to a previous, previously visited location. And I'm pretty sure this is how I'm going to be able to make this thing work, although I'm not entirely sure. But I'm really hoping I am right. So, we're going to go ahead and make our way back to the PC and deposit one of my Pokemon because we are also going to be picking up a, we're going to be picking up another one of, uh, we're going to pick up another gift Pokemon, so we don't need Nimbus temporarily. We're going to put that in the PC, and go ahead and pick up this, uh, Pokemon. So it's going to be pretty, pretty exciting getting all these gift Pokemon, because I wanted to go ahead and show off the gift Pokemon, because some of them are really, really good. So if you see, you go back into Steven's house and there's a Pokeball on the table. Check the Pokeball. Contain the Pokemon, Beldum. Take the Pokeball. So we've obtained a Beldum. So if you ever wanted a Beldum, you know, there you go. Pretty, pretty awesome Pokemon. You get to have a Metagross eventually, just like Steven. So that is pretty cool. Actually, we'll go ahead and show off the Beldum. It is level 5, so you're going to have a ton of leveling up to do. It's got Clear Body. It only has the move Takedown, and pretty much only has the move Takedown until it evolves into a Matang. But, you know, aside from that, Beldum is pretty cool. So... I'm going to go ahead and deposit it in the PC, because we're probably not going to be needing it anytime soon. And we're going to go ahead and put our Beldum in the PC, along with our newly uh, acquired Lily. So that's pretty cool. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way back to one more location, because there's one thing that I do want to go ahead and show off, you know, because we haven't already done it before. So we're going to go ahead and make our way to Lily Cove City, because I'm pretty sure Lily Cove City has the location that I'm looking for. Um, is this it? Yep, this is it. So we're going to be making our way into this contest hall right here because I haven't, you know, properly shown off contests. So hello there. We're accepting registration for Master Rank Contest. Any with a contest pass may enter. You may obtain a contest pass from the normal Rank Contest Hall, Vern Turf Town, free of charge. Please obtain a contest pass and come again. So, yay, we're going to have to fly to Vernon Turf Town because I don't really know how contests work. Because I don't really do, I don't really do them, but I figured, you know, this is going to be... We're going to be uh, trying to show off pretty much every little thing that the game can, you know, offer. Which is, you know, probably the most exciting part. You know, the littlest things that, you know, just add a little bit more livelihood to the game. We're going to go ahead and show those things off. So, we made it here. We're accepting registrations. And with the contest pass we enter, if you don't have one, I can issue one for you right now. Alright, so yeah, we are going to want a contest pass because how else are we going to be able to do the contest? And let's see, Pokemon contest about four trainers and one Pokemon in a competitive judging. Contest has two stages of judging, primary and secondary. Primary judging is a popularity poll involving the audience. Secondary judge features appeals by the Pokemon using their moves. Plan appeals carefully to earn the most attention of the judge and excite the audience. Do your best to stand out. Alright, so we're just going to go and skip the rest of this dialogue because they're just explaining how contests work and what are we going to do? I think we should do... Actually, you know what, we're going to base our opinions off of our Pokemon, so if you go to your Pokemon, you have the basic moves, but if you go one more over, you get to see the uh, contest ranking. So, Aggron has a lot of cool moves, uh, Tota has a lot of smart moves, a lot of cool moves from Joey, a lot of beauty moves from our Metroid, and a lot of tough moves, <laughs> a lot of cute moves apparently from our Slay King, 
and a lot of cool moves. So, I think we'll enter in the cool contest with our Joey, our one and only Joey, our starter Pokemon. So, oh wait, I did not mean to do that. I didn't even read what, what contest we entered in. Yeah, we want to enter in the cool contest. We're going to go ahead and enter with our Joey. So, is that your contest Pokemon? Alright, so we are entry number four, and the contest will begin shortly. So, let's go ahead and do this contest, because we're going to show everybody how cool our Pokemon is. Hello, we're just getting started with a normal ranked Pokemon cool contest. The participating trainers and their Pokemon are as follows. Entry number one, Chances Reichlech. Pretty interesting nickname, to so say the least. Then we got Sydney's Weiris, which is her little Wismer. And then the third trainer is going to be Madison's Tay Tay, which is her little Taylo. Pretty interesting nicknames. They all have little, like, kind of basic Pokemon. Then there's us with our Blaze again. Triple G's Joey. So yeah, pretty, pretty awesome nickname, just simply Joey. We've seen the four Pokemon contestants. Now it's time for primary judging. The audience will vote on their favorite Pokemon contestants. Without further ado, let the voting begin. Voting underway. Voting is now complete. While the votes are being tallied, let's move on to secondary judging. Second stage of judging is the much anticipated appeal time. May the contestants amaze us with the superb appeals of dazzling moves. Let us see a little enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, let's appeal. So here we go, now it's our chance to shine. So, oh wait, hold on, we get to pick a move. Alright, so let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and pick. We're gonna go ahead and pick. Hmm, we're gonna pick. We wanna use cool moves because, you know, that's gonna be a lot better for us in the contest. I think we should start off with Slash. Alright, so Electric is gonna use Roar. And it scrambled up the order for the next turn. Alright, that's great. Reichlex coolness went over great. So, yeah, we wanna get the applause little area. So we wanna get the applause little gauge filled up. So, same time as the Pokemon before, good. So, coolness went over great. And, alright, so the applause is actually growing quite a bit. So hopefully we're gonna get a lot of hearts for uh we're gonna get a lot of hearts for uh whatever it's called and hopefully go first in the uh, contest ranking. Uttered a cry for help, and we couldn't help uttering a cry. Where's coolness went over great. Alright, now there's four. So we're gonna get the we're gonna get the fourth one. We're gonna get the fourth little heart on uh still done much more than the Pokemon before. We're gonna get the fourth little heart on the uh, coolness or the claws gauge right there. And hopefully that's going to bring us up to the top, and hopefully that means we go first. Okay, we got a lot of attention, so that's pretty good. See, a contest is a little bit hard to explain, but, you know, if you actually do them yourselves, they, you know, they make a lot, they make a lot of sense. So it's a little bit hard to explain these little contests, but, you know, we're just going to go ahead and keep on going, trying to be, you know, the next, the next, you know, sensation. Whereas coolness didn't go over well here. Alright, hopefully they're not going to use another cool move. Because if they don't use another cool move, then we should be able to get the, you know, the applause. Turn back, turn out, turn back a lot of distractions, went over greats. Okay, alright, there's one more left. Okay, I'm really hoping that this, uh, Taylor doesn't use a cool move. Who knows? Oh, no. Oh, no, you filled it up. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? You know what, take it, it doesn't matter. We're gonna use Peck, and that's going to, oh, judge look at Joey expectantly. Alright, coolness went over great. Alright, thanks everybody, you know, for clapping for my uh, little Joey. Thanks for that, you know, it helps out a lot. Joey caught a lot of attention. Or caught a little attention. Oh, now we're first. Alright, what are we going to play? What are we going to do? Um, what do you think? I think we should go for... Hmm, affected by how well the appeal in front goes. Works well if it's the same one as the type before. And then highly appealing move. What do we use? I think, uh, hmm, I think we should use, I think we'd use Slash. I think we'll use Slash again. We're going to use Slash, and hopefully it's going to appeal quite a quite amount of people. Alright, so it's going to fill up the applause gauge a little bit. And now uh, he's going to use Hyper Voice. I mean, sorry if these, uh, sorry if these little contests don't make too much sense. I mean, they don't really make too much sense overall, but... You know, I'm trying to explain as best I possibly can. It just feels like, you know, I'm just, like, kind of talking randomly and doesn't really make any sense to what I'm actually doing. But I'm hoping it's kind of making sense. Hopefully you're following along because, you know, I mean, if I was watching, I'd kind of feel, you know, a little, a little confused. A little confused over what's going on. So hopefully the Taylor wasn't going to use another, another cool move. Largely unnoticed. Tay Tay worked hard. 
Oh, cuteness. Okay, that's good. Oh, but now we got rid of it. Alright, please go second. I really want to go second. Joey didn't stand out very much. Okay. As long as these Pokemon don't use any, uh... Don't use any, you know, moves... Don't use any moves that deal... Or that get the, uh, cool... Or the applause goes up. Or maybe both of them can use it. But it messed up. Our coolness went over great. Alright, alright. Sydney, please don't use a cool move. Please do not use a cool move. Whatever you do, please do not use. Please do not use a cool move. Please don't use a cool move. Just... Okay, cuteness... Oh, no. Now you're gonna lower it. You idiot. Why would you do that? Great. See, now... Now... Great. Now... Now now the Taylor was going to get it again. Oh, no. This is not good. Okay, feel the growl. Why do some of this Tay Worked hard. Oh, maybe you didn't like it. Just went by repeating an appeal. Alright, and cuteness didn't go over well. Alright, so I think we might be able to win this. Alright, but... Oh, the Taylor might might end up winning. Because look at it. Look at its gauge. It has so much... It's got so much, uh... It's got so much, you know... The heart is actually, you know, super far to the right. We're gonna use Peck. Hopefully, Judge looked at Joey expectantly. Alright, coolness went over great. Alright, yeah. And now the applause gauge is gonna be filled up for someone else. Alright, that's not good. That's not good. Appeal with Roar... Alright, so yeah, it's probably gonna yeah, and now the Rylek, the Ryklek is going to going to get the appeal. Alright, that's not good. Yeah, see now he has a second row of hearts. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we're gonna be able to uh, win this one. It's staying type's Pokemon move four, coolness one over great. Alright, yeah, I don't think we're actually gonna be able to win this contest. That's a little bit uh you know, it's a little bit, you know, kinda ashamed ashaming. Joey couldn't help uttering a cry. Oh, great, yeah, that's great. Now everyone's gonna lose hearts. Yay. You know what? You know what, Sydney? You keep on doing that with your uh, your little Wizma right here. And, yeah, Joey didn't stand out very much. And here we go. We're all out of appeal time. All right, so the Taylor actually made it all the way over. That's it for judging. Thank you all for a most wonderful display of quality appeals. This concludes all the judging. Thank you for your fine efforts. Now all that remains is the pulse pounding proclamation of the winner. The judge looked ready to make the announcement. I will now declare the winner. So announcing the results. Alright, so the pre preliminary result. We didn't get anything for that, really. Round two results. Round three. Oh, wait, hold on. Are we going to... Oh, uh, no, never mind. Yeah, I guess uh, no one liked us. No one liked our... Uh, no one liked Joey. I feel bad. This little Taylor one, unfortunately, though. All right, you know what, Madison's Tay Tay, you keep on, you you do that. Entry number three, Madison and Tay Tay won. Congratulations! Yay! Looks like we didn't win. Here are, please accept the prize. Please do compete again. All right, so you know what, we're not going to compete again because that was horrible. But anyway, yeah, we've been here, we've been here long enough. We don't need to do this contest anymore. Alright, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, then feel free to leave this video a like, maybe even a comment, and if you really want to, you can even subscribe to be notified of when future videos come out. That is all I have for now, so I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.